peace to the gods peace to the earth y'all climb on in climb on in the building let me know if you can see me and let me know if you can hear me climb on in family matter of fact let me check too for myself you know they be shadow banning me you know they be messing with me man so i be having to even check myself sometimes let me make sure i'm live on these platforms peace peace family peace peace Y'all see what we going over? Y'all see what we talking about? We talking about alopecia, regrowing what was lost to the violation of nature. You know, when you violate nature, nature violates you. Uh, but, you know, these things can be reversed uh, and you can regrow your hair and grow your hair back, y'all. So y'all climb on in and we're going to talk about it. Peace, 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 love, light and healing to everybody. Yeah, I tried to go live on Instagram today, man, and they wouldn't even let me go live. Like what's crazy is when I went to Instagram, you know, how you click on that little area for you can either go live or you can post or you can make a reel or something. My live button wasn't even there, y'all. No bull crap. I am not lying to y'all. And I restarted my phone. I even logged out and logged back into Instagram. I even uh, deleted the app and reinstalled the app. And I still was not able to find the live button. You know, it's crazy stuff that's going on in these times, man. They are really, really suppressing the knowledge and the information, y'all. So, you know, uh, Hopefully my website will be my new website will be done soon. We moving into our, our new bigger warehouse. So, you know, a lot of the orders going to be getting out faster. Uh, we hiring on more people. So everything going to be at ease soon. But we have to realize that this is a constant battle and a constant fight to be free and to, you know, be in a state of homeostasis or in the balance of my eye. You know, and there's always that opposite opposing side. So if we speak in light. You best believe damn show darkness is going to be right around the corner. If we talking about healing and health, you best believe that sickness, disease and death is, is chasing and following after us. If we talk about procreating, you best believe that murder is people and murder is foods and chemicals or around us. So we have to understand balance. We have to understand that number 42. We have to understand, you know, for every opposite reaction there's a for every reaction there's an equal and opposite reaction so that's all that's going on but a lot of people been talking about this alopecia y'all i mean it is running rapid not only in the so-called black community but everywhere and notice since all of these so-called inoculations and since these c-h-o-t-s came out and they started giving people these you know, all of a sudden we see people are losing their hair at a high alarming rate. So it makes you want to really, really start studying the, ingre the ingredients that's in these so-called inoculations, that's in these, you know, injections that they're giving people. And I'm saying injections and inoculations and quote unquote, because I really don't want to say the word because I don't want them flagging me. They flagging me and erasing my videos enough. You know, it's crazy. Uh, I go through Instagram and see, OK, he got 780 posts. Then I I look up oh he only got 777 it's like hold on or i go to youtube and he got 370 videos and i look back up dang he only got 300 and, uh, i mean 250 video i'm like where the hell is all my videos going they are just erasing my videos i mean it is crazy what they're doing to keep the message from getting out but that's how you know that what we saying is true that's how you know that what we saying is getting to the ears of the people and it is working people are waking up you know and that's that's all that really mattered to me so y'all climb on in the building peace 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 love light and healing to everybody that's in the building peace to the gods peace to the earth how y'all feeling how y'all feeling let's talk about it you know uh everybody was like is you doing this because of jada smith and wooty wop this and no i'm not not doing this because of that i'm doing this because my people as a whole is suffering from this and then when you step back and you look at it globally this is in high demand right now so it's time to talk about it not only that uh, a lot of people are talking about gut issues and stuff too lately so we're going to start talking about the microbiome and start talking about the gut as well y'all this is a global systematic problem and we have to talk about it because you know your hair is very important anybody that went to my seminar in atlanta you know, we really got into what the hair was, what it does, how it functions, and how it is your actual medium or it is your uh, uh, communication intelligence between you and your environment. And it's it act as a actual receptor that brings you information for your body and your neurological system can respond to the environment. That's how important hair is. And if you look into, you know, the so-called African culture or the African Aboriginal American culture and you see how 
how our hair is, how kinky it is, the curls in it that nine eat the hair, how it grows towards the sun. We have to realize that these are antennas and these antennas are called dipole antennas. And it literally keeps you connected to the universe and to the cosmos. So if you losing it, then you're losing your connection. If you're losing your hair, then you're losing somewhat uh, uh, of your spirituality. If you're losing your hair, you're losing your mental and neurological development. If you're losing your hair, then you're losing the hair that's with inside of you too we have to understand that hair is not only on the outside of our body it's not only on the exterior of our body but it is internally and eternally too you see that you without hair it's impossible to have a digestive system because you have hair called microvilli that's inside of the digestive tract helping you actually move the feces to the colon helping you move the feces up the ascending colon through through the transverse colon down the ascending colon it's impossible to have you know these different microbiotas move around in the body and do things like help you digest your food help the T cells the B cells the lymph sites the phagocytes the neutrophils, the leukocytes, all these things are in movement, not only by way of fluid, but by way of your hair. Another thing we have to talk about before we start really getting into this presentation, when you start talking about your sensor, your sensory senses. You know, and a lot of people are, are developing sensory deprivation syndromes where their senses is out of touch. They don't have, they can't see far no more. They can't hear good anymore. They losing a sense of smell. They losing a sense of touch. I'm sorry to tell you, my friend, but you're losing your hair that's inside of your body that actually gets that vibration and the electricity in the water that's with inside of your actual cells coming together to decode information. Without hair, it's impossible for you to see, smell, feel, touch and taste y'all and this is all scientifically proven all you have to do is start looking this stuff up so it's very very imperative and it's very very important that we do everything within our abilities to grow our hair back and that's going to bring me to what i'm going to talk about you know we have to look and there's people out here suffering from alopecia people that can't grow hair on their head can't grow hair on their whole body you know there's different stages to alopecias and there's different types it's some people that can't grow hair period it's some that lose their hair and then they grow it back it's some that scarred scar tissue end up coming on their head and they can never grow their hair back again or at least that's what they say because we done seen hair grow back from scar tissue but it's people out here suffering wishing that they can have hair on their body because they realize what the without the hair what is doing to their body and what is doing to their interaction with their environment but you got brothers shaving their beards you got brothers shaving their head bald that can grow beautiful hair you got sisters putting weave in their hair you got sisters shaving they head when they can grow beautiful hair y'all shaving y'all vagina areas y'all shaving y'all penises not knowing that that's the way that we share pheromones that's the way that we enter to connect and when we are sharing souls during this sexual entering the course when we're studying and when we're learning each other by the exchange of sexual information a lot of that information is by way of the hair same thing when the mother and the and the child connects and that child starts sucking on that nipple then my hair stimulations through the tip of that nipple that's going to actually get the hypothalamus gland and the hypocampus and the pituitary gland producing that love chemical or that loving binding hormone that we call oxytocin. Uh, this stuff is by micro hair, hair that you can't see with your eye. But if you put the, the uh, specimen of a cell on a Petri dish and you look at, you look at it through a microscope, you're going to see trillions of hair. Showing you how important hair is. Believe it or not, even your tongue have some form of like hair on it. Everything about you, how you experiment and how you experience your reality is due to your hair on the inside of your body and on the outside of your body. So it behooves us that we really, really start seeing how important hair is, not only when it comes to the non-ether, you know, so-called African-American community, but to every community. Now, yes, you do have different type of hair. You got fur. You know, a lot of uh, uh, Caucasians have fur. Uh, you you start looking when you get into the Asian community, they have fur. Then we have stand up curl, non ether hair. But yet and still, it's still some form of hair. 
Still some form of hair that's made to protect you from the outside environment due to all kinds of thermal receptors and, and stuff like you have so many Merkos receptors. You have so many receptors that's connected to the nervous system, that's connected to your skin. Your skin is made from the same cells of your brain. So your hair is an extension of your skin. Your skin is an extension of your brain. Your brain is an extension of your nervous system. Your nervous system is an extension of the autonomic nervous system, the parasympathetic nervous system system the sympathetic nervous system the intrinsic nervous system the central nervous system the cardiovascular nervous system you see what I'm, you see how deep this goes so hair ain't just something we supposed to be just going around cutting y'all you know what i'm saying and there's people out here losing it wishing that they had it and wishing you know that that, that it can come back and it's not so hey if y'all ready to get this started type in some nines we're gonna get this started family type in some nines shalom shalom to all my hebrew israelites in the building shalom 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 how y'all feeling how y'all feeling namaste namaste Assalamu alaikum to my Muslims brothers. Assalamu alaikum. Islam, I self law master to all of my Moors, to all of my Circle Seven brothers that's in the building. I see all of y'all climbing in. I see all of y'all climbing in. Hotep, Hotep to my beautiful comedic, comedic uh, brothers and sisters, y'all. All praises. Yes, I'm about unity, love, and peace. I'm not knocking anybody over their God concept. I'm not knocking anybody over their God concept. All right. So this video is not only going to be for people that uh, that have alopecia. This is for anybody that is losing hair, period, because the system in the herbal therapy and the dietitian therapy that I'm going to or the levitation therapy that I'm going to bring forth to y'all. This work for anybody that's thinning hair, losing hair and all of that. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Let's get to it. So first off, I want to show y'all we're going to read the actual clinical definition of what alopecia is. OK. All right, the clinical definition. Okay, alopecia, hair loss. Alopecia can affect, it says, can affect just your scalp or your entire body. So we see that it don't only mess with the scalps of human beings or non-human beings, uh, whether we're going to call it uh, Neanderthal descendants or what we're going to call Homo sapiens sapiens, the original uh, uh, God or God-like being. Anybody that grows a follicle can grow hair. So we see with alopecia, even dogs get alopecia, y'all. Y'all see dogs walk around with patches canines missing hair this stuff happened to anything that's a mammal anything that can reproduce that grow hair you can lose it and they they call this alopecia if it's a certain thing that's going on with inside of the lymphatic system see that's what they be leaving out of everything now the lymphatic system once you understand the lymphatic system and the glymphatic system everything will start coming into perspective y'all now check this out it says uh, affect just your scalp or your entire body it says and it it can be temporary or permanent. It can be the result of heredity, hormone changes. So heredity, we talking about genes. Hormone changes, we talking about the adrenal glands or the endocrine system. Medical conditions, medical conditions, we're talking about side effects from certain medications that they've been giving you. You see that? Or a normal part of aging. See that? But when you age, you start losing melanin. Not only do you start losing melanin, but you start losing cholesterol. Cholesterol actually creates these lipids. That we finna be talking about Anyone can lose hair on their head But it's more common in men See that and a lot of people think That you know alopecia is actually prone to women But a lot of men More men have this This issue going on Just balding and alopecia period But it's a way to reverse these things And we gonna talk about it But notice what I said It started getting you know revving up once you know the cov uh uh the covid 19 came out and then they started giving you the, the the injections and inoculations for it then all of a sudden we see a layer a year later everybody is losing their hair and you see what they call alopecia they call it an autoimmune disease but anybody that know me and anybody that follow me we already know that there's no such thing as an autoimmune disease because we don't even believe in an immune system so let's let's kick this let's get it out the door with that we don't even believe in an immune system if you follow yaki and if you really know about holistic health and true healing of the body mind and spirit or spirit mind and body should i say we don't believe in an autoimmune system and if there was an autoimmune system the autoimmune system will only exist 
inside of what y'all the lymphatic system because what makes up the autoimmune system will be the thymus gland the thymus gland creates t cells t cells the thymus gland is a lymphatic associated tissue so when i hear t cells instead of thinking immunity or autoimmune guess what i'm going to think i'm going to think lymphatic defense or we talking about the white blood cells that come from the bone marrow or what they call b cells last time i checked the bone marrow is a part of a lymphatic system it's a lymphatic system associated organ you see that skeleton cytos skeleton organ that's associated with the lymphatic system that have i don't see an immune system and you keep going with the neutrophils you keep going with the lymphocytes the leukocytes the phagocytes the monofields the basal fields this all have something to do the lymph nodes all of this go back to the lymphatic system so if you saying we have alopecia and it's a so-called autoimmune disease autoimmune disorder and everything that makes up the so-called immune system is a part of the lymphatic system that automatically we can tell you that alopecia is due to a what a stagnated corrupted mucous membrane cholesterol based lymphatic system and i'm gonna show you how and i'm gonna show you exactly how to get rid of it and, and in between in the meantime between time we're gonna drop a bunch of jewels while we doing that sipping on some herbs y'all All right, now check this out. So let's get straight to it. Let's get straight to it. All right, we looked that up so far. All right, so what I want to talk about first, let me pull up these glands. I want to show y'all what the hair actually looks like. Why ain't nothing pulling in? Hold on, family, because nothing is pulling in on my screen, and that's weird. What's going on here? Okay, there we go. All right, so let me show y'all what we looking at, y'all. Why is this not pulling in? Hold on, family. I know they ain't messing with me. Okay, here we go. So when you're looking at hair, y'all, I want to show y'all this. Without further ado, let's get straight to it. We're going to dive straight deep into this, y'all. So when you're looking at a hair follicle, this is the follicle right here on the left. On the left, and uh, if you look down, it says 1A. This is a completely normal hair follicle. When you look at 1B, this is when you start seeing subacute, uh, certain type of, you know, uh, deterioration to the hair follicle. And this is a real hair follicle, by the way. And then when you look at 3, this is alopecia. This is a destroyed hair follicle. Now, what I want y'all to notice is the corruption and the destruction of the hair follicle. And I have a question y'all before we even read what's down at the bottom of this i want to ask y'all a simple question and that's what side of chemistry destroy tissues and what side of chemistry destroy cells before we even get to starting before we even go what side of chemistry destroy tissues and what side of chemistry destroy cells is it the alkaline side the alkali the alkaloid side or is it the acid side acidosis side which side Acid, acid, acid. Let me get a lot of acids in the building before I can make sure that y'all are keeping up. Okay, all praises. I'm glad that y'all see that. Yes, I'm slipping on some uh, red clover. Red clover is good for cleansing the blood. It's good for cleansing out the spleen, which is a lymphatic associated tissue. Also, I got some lemon balm in here to help calm the nervous system, help cleanse out any protein that's built up from anything I've been eating. Even though I don't eat protein like that, I'm against protein. But, you know, lemon balm mixed with red clover is a great concoction, y'all. All praise is the acid side of chemistry. Okay, I'm glad y'all get that. All right, now check this out. So in order for us to truly, truly see what's going on here, we have to start reading this, right? Now, I'm going to blow this up so we can read the bottom of it. Check this out. It says normal healthy hair follicles of the scalp showing straight uh, and long hair sheath, right? It says note that lymphatic infiltration is not seen hold on let me say that again lymphatic look infiltration is not seen at the beginning of severe alopecia it says or oh, it says of this case in figure six note the massive invasion of lymphocytes destroying the hair follicle so we see on a farther right picture 1c we see that lymphocytes that's coming from the lymphatic system which actually is created by your leukocytes and stuff like that is actually chewing away at the hair follicles y'all it says such lymphocytes 
lymphocytes turned out to be CD4 positive T lymphocyte cells. So we see that the cells are traveling from the thymus gland up into the brain, meaning that it must be a backed up lymphatic system and it is destroying the actual hair of it destroying the actual hair of a human being. What is causing it? Why is the lymphatic system going after the hair and attacking its own cells? Because the body is not stupid. The body is not stupid at all. So what is happening in the body? Because the last time I checked, lymphocytes, phagocytes eat bacteria, eat acids. So if the lymphocytes and the phagocytes is eating all these other uh, all these other tissues of the body, then it must be eating the acids that's associated with these tissues of the body. And by collateral damage, these cells are getting ate along with the acids, y'all. Check this out, y'all. And this is what starts forming these different types of shapes and things like that. Now, we're not going to get it twisted, though. There's many things that actually causes alopecia. Bacterial infection causes alopecia. All right. Uh, if you if you're getting that jab, that actually causes alopecia. We're going to prove all these uh, parasites causes alopecia. Extreme acidosis causes alopecia. Y'all see what I'm saying? Improper blood flow causes alopecia. There are so many different things that causes alopecia. And finally, but not least, because 99% of y'all alopecia is coming from down adrenal glands, y'all. Your adrenal glands is down and your adrenal glands is actually in control of producing certain lipids and certain cocorderoids that you need to suppress the lymphocytes, that suppress all these different lymphatic defense systems for your hair can actually grow. But since that's a Press of therapy that's being produced by the adrenal glands, which is your glucose corticoids and uh, your different types of mineral corticoids. It's not being produced to actually come and tell answer antigens being produced to tell, you know, the lymphocytes, the phagocytes, hey, calm y'all asses down. See that since since that melanin receptor co communication is not happening because your adrenal glands is down and not producing the cortisol and the cocorderoids for your salt and water retention and everything that you need to keep the body running properly. Man, look, these phagocytes and lymphocytes just running throughout the body, tearing up anything that look acidic. They not playing no games. They the only thing they want you to do is live. So anything that look like a threat, they eating. So if their hair fall, if you're backed up. Uh, 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 systemically and you got lymph and you got all of these different types of acids built all the way up from the transverse colon into the brain now you got all this acid and mucus on the brain once the mucosa membrane get alerted because the mucosa membrane the cholesterol based system and the lymphatic system is the same thing once that mucosa membrane gets stimulated and get alerted it's coming to kill that's what it do so if if it's acids just hanging out on street corners Hugging on cells They can be completely healthy or not You think the lymphocytes and the phagocytes Is going to be Yeah cells separate from them now No it's coming to eat Look you mingling with the asses You get killed too You you This treason at the point <laughs> You mingling And you mean You mixing and mingling With different Different gang members We hitting you too and that's exactly how T cells think and B cells think. We talking about some very, very territorial uh, 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 lymphatic de defense microbiotas here. So if they see acids and, and they're trained to kill acids by the thi by the thyroid gland and by the thymus gland, that's what they're trained to do. Whenever they see an acid or whenever they see a bacteria that's out of pocket or th that's in the wrong neighborhood because bacteria are only supposed to be in certain parts of the body. If they see it out of pocket and if they see it hanging around with a cool, healthy sale look collateral damage happen every time we see it in the streets all day somebody was riding a bike and a shootout happened in chicago and an innocent man was killed same thing that happens in this environment that we call the body so if the, the whole thing is to get rid of the acidosis, if I get rid of the acidosis and my lymphatic system is open and it is moving and flushing properly, the acids won't be hanging out with the good people. You won't see acids chilling on the corner with, with, with the other cells that's associated with the hair follicles, hair cells that's associated with the nails, uh, hair. You know, you won't see that. And then you won't see the invasion and you won't see the killing of innocent cells. If y'all get that so far, type in some nines. I hope I explain that to y'all right. I hope y'all I explain that to that. See, look, you know, <laughs> you know, we we Negroes. We know all about gang banging and violence and stuff like that. Not saying that that's a good thing and not making light of that because that's a bad thing and that's what we here to change. But I know that y'all can relate if I break it down in that type of uh uh, uh analogy. So if y'all understand that, type in some nines. Okay, all praises, all praises. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. All right, so this is what I want to show y'all. 
All right, so I'm going to blow this one up as well. All right, now check this out. This is talking about the hair follicle stem cells, right? Now, when you start getting into the niche and the niches, look, notice that this is all talking about the growth of your hair. But notice this says lymphatic drainage, showing you that your head is supposed to drain. Now, before we go into this, before we go into this, I want to show you this. So with every associated tissue, let me pull out a, a, a cadaver real quick. So this is a hair follicle, y'all. This is what this is. This is an actual hair follicle. All right, let me get a pen of something that I can point at this. All right, let me point this at y'all. So this is a hair follicle. What I want y'all to notice in this hair follicle, notice you got the nerve system. So the hair is the extension of the nervous system. That's why you see all the hairs associated with it. Then you got the say the sebaceous uh the say the sebaceous uh gland, which is right here. Sebaceous gland, which is right here. And now the sebaceous gland is actually in control of producing a lipid-based system. And this lipid is what I was talking about, which is the corticoroid. We have to realize that corticoroids and steroids that's produced by the adrenal glands is made by fats and this fats that come from a cholesterol system so everybody be talking about hdl and ldl cholesterol is super bad but it's not without cholesterol it's impossible for you to live if your cholesterol is high in your body it's because acids is high in your body and cholesterol is big mama that's a lipid based nurturing system and it puts out fires but not only that these make your sexual hormones ldl and hdl cholesterol makes all of your steroids it makes your glucose corticoroids and it makes your mineral corticoroids and these things are produced by the cortisol that's produced by the adrenal glands. When the adrenal glands kick them on and kick them out, what happens is this oily based system actually come into play, right? And it goes to these different glands here. Hold on. It goes to these different glands here and it start releasing these oily like symptoms. That's the reason why people that got oily skin disease notice what they oily skin disease is because it's an overproduction of lipids and it's an overproduction of corticoroid steroids or what we're going to call glucose corticoids or what we call mineral corticoids being produced. And that lipid based system is hollering inside of these glands. You have all types of what they will call amino suppressive uh, uh, different antigens that will tell the lymph to chill out don't be killing nobody that it tell the t-cells hey man back up you in the wrong territory that it tell the macrophages look don't eat me i'm an antigen that was created by the cells but when the adrenal glance is down and not working and any acids is anywhere guess what the phagocytes is going to do or the or, or the leukocytes going to do they gonna go kill everything in sight but what i want to show y'all is this notice the yellow part the yellow part is the nervous system notice the red part the red and the blue part is the blood do y'all I see all these fatty tissues around these fatty tissues are basis of fats and cholesterols because this is where all of your steroids and stuff is at y'all that's the reason why with people that have this disease they give you uh, uh, artificial uh, steroids you see that because they're trying to produce what the body already have going on. Now, notice the Merkel's discs in here, which keep you connected with your environment. There's so many receptors inside of here. There's a lot to make your hair grow. This follicle of hair is actually a part of everything that you see beneath the, the epidermis or what they call the top uh, layer of your skin. Your hair is literally the, the antenna for your entire body in your brain, family. You see that? Now, notice what you do not see. You don't see the lymphatic fluid. If you Google it, you won't see the lymphatic fluid. So my whole question is, why are they leaving the lymphatic fluid or the lymphatic system out of everything? Because just looking at this cadaver, we don't know how the hair cleanses itself. We don't know how to properly drain this, gl this gland over here. You see what I'm saying? We don't know. But notice that the blood, blood through circulation brings oxygen. Oxygen to anything that's growing will grow it more. So the suppression of oxygen to the hair follicle will actually damage the cells because the cell will suffocate. Another thing is they don't have the lymphatic system, and the lymphatic system is what deals with acids. So if you have acid builds up and it starts literally corroding the buds and corroding the cells, then what are we going to do? Huh? The cells is going to be dead and they're going to start breaking off. Too much acid would straight damage the cell and now the hair cannot grow back again until you remove the scar tissue and then we got to go after the thyroid gland to get rid of that. Y'all get that so far? Type in some nines. I want to show, the whole point of showing you this is to show you that we see blood we see nerves, but we do not see lymph. Remember that the blood is what feeds the cells of the body. You want to grow good hair, you need good nutrition to go through the hair follicles, to grow through the hair root of the hair bud. That's through the blood. 
and you're going to need good electricity to keep you connected with the outside environment due to the autonomic nervous system, the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. That is the nerves. But now what we're missing is the lymphatic system and the lymphatic system is actually what cleanses the cells of the body. We don't have nothing to cleanse the acids. We don't have nothing to cleanse the blood from eating all them goodies and, and, and burning all of them goodies to get growth, the byproducts of things. So you start literally growing all types of stuff inside of your cranium that you don't need and you have all these byproducts of things that you don't need so you start burning away your hair follicles all right i'm glad y'all get that and if i need to slow down y'all just tell me now what i want to show y'all is this we have to understand that hair is inside of your body on the inside our bodies are lined on the inside look on the inside was soft microscopic carpet of hair i did not make this up you have trillions and trillions and trillions of hair follicles on the inside of your body. You lose the hair on the inside before you lose the hair on the outside. So if you start going bald outwardly, externally, you have a very, very big problem because that means you are bald internally and you cannot get your sensory senses to actually do their job and their, po their, their proper functioning. And that means your digestive system is not working properly. That means your, your nervous system is not working properly. That means the way you interact with your environment is not working properly. Y'all read this stuff. It says, our bodies are lined on the inside with soft microscopic carpets of hair from the grassy uh, instinctions of our taste buds. Y'all thought I was lying. See, you can't even taste. Look, your, your tongue have hair on it, y'all. You can't see it. But if you take an actual piece of your tongue out and you put that little bitty microscopic cell of your tongue under a microscope, you will see hair coming from it to fuzzy beds of microvilli in our stomach. See that you even got hair in your stomach. Or super fine protein strands throughout our blood vessels. Your blood flow and move by the way of hair, y'all. I, I don't think y'all understand how important hair is, man. This stuff is very, very important. These hairy projections uh, anchored to soft surfaces. It says bend and twist with the currents of fluids they're immersed in. So hair interacts with the fluids, the lipid-based system, like the lymphatic system. How the lymphatic system produces something called acetylcholine, uh, and then that's getting converted into uh, acetylcholine esterase, and that's what actually uh, dilates and contracts the lymphatic system. Guess how that lymph is moving through the vessels? Guess how that blood is moving through the vessels? Guess how that, that food that you're eating is moving through your digestinal tract? Guess how that electricity is moving and the melanin neurotransmitter is moving through the body communicating? All this is by way of hair. Hair is damn near like a, a damn train station. It moves things. And it moves electricity. It moves blood. It moves lymph. It moves nerves. And it moves lymphatic fluid, y'all. And it moves the, uh, the bacteria. Hair is important. Very, very important. Now, this is the reason why I'm talking about this. Do you think that it's a coincidence that everybody is starting to lose their hair ever since this whole uh, 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 pandemic? And then when you look at Pan, Pan is an actual demon god, Pandemion. Look up the look up the God Pan or the Demon Pan, and then you start getting into pandemic, pandemic, pandominia, and all of this other stuff. Notice we start losing our hair, and now we're not able to actually interact with our environment nor interact with each other. How can how is it possible for me to release oxytocin and for me to have that binding form on chemistry with you if you got a shaved vagina? Where is the connection at? How am I going to get that? That's why missionary is important. I'm not saying be bored and just always do it in that type of style and stuff like that. But missionary is important for you can connect those pubic hairs together for you can interest for you can interchange that intellectual property, y'all. Hair is important, and we missing it everywhere. Just missing it. I know that was kind of off topic, but I had to talk about it. <laughs> now let's get back to this. Yes, yes, y'all do not shave y'all hair. It is beautiful. It's beautiful. Hair on your vagina is beautiful. Hair under your armpits is beautiful. Hair on, on your legs is beautiful. Hair on your arms is beautiful. See, when I look at I'm a holistic, I'm a holistic healer. I look at I'm like, dang, her shit works. That's what I look at. I'm like, she healthy. It works. Dang, it grow hair. It grows. It's, it's long. It works. It grows toward the, it's beautiful. 
I'm looking at that. I'm like, dang, her lymphatic system is not stagnated. Her nervous system is not compromised. She don't have mucus just stuck all up in between the epidermal layers of her skin. See, when I look at her, I look at it from an African standpoint, an Aboriginal ancient America standpoint. I'm not looking at it from this new age standpoint or this Roman Greco standpoint. You know where shaving come from? That come from the Greeks. That come from the Romans. You're not a Greek and you're not a Roman. So why are you shaving? You're shaving your beard, shaving your hair, coming around looking like a, a grown ass naked baby let's stop doing that family for real we have to stop doing it because you don't even know what your hair is you don't know how important it is and you don't even know the anatomy of your own body quit following what other people do and study your body and you'll realize that god made everything on you perfectly everything he put on you was perfect if he wanted you to cut your hair he would have gave you fingernails for you can shave you got fingernails that sharpen knife tissues you got fingers that look like that look like scissors or anything like that no you don't so that means you're not supposed to be shaving your hair. You're the only people that say, I ain't never seen a gorilla shave. I ain't never seen a cat shave. I seen them shed to grow new, just like you shed and grow new. I haven't seen no mammals or other homo sapiens sapiens on earth shave, but the human race. We the only people that be out here shaving what God naturally gave us. And we don't even know what it's used for. We don't even know. Then we have the nerve to talk about hippies and to talk about people that's in my field that love hair. And then, then look, you even go as far as to say a homo, you have to have, that's homosexual behavior, bruh. You like a woman with her on her body? Yeah, heaven, yeah, I do. That mean her body's working properly. That, yes, I do. I want to connect. I can't, have y'all ever seen Avatar and, uh, on the movie Avatar? In order for him to connect with the woman when they had sex, they put their hair or their tails together. And then inside the hair of their tails, they bind it. In order for him to be one with the horse, in order for him to be one with the dragons they was flying on, they had to connect by way of what, y'all? See, look, the messages in the movie get the picture. They had to connect by what, y'all? Let me hear it. They had to connect by hair. Hair. <laughs> hair is hella important hell look hair is heavenly important y'all y'all look we have to quit looking at uh uh basket what they call it hollywood basketball wives and all this other bull crap that we be watching on tv having us distracted and, and telling us how to think and telling us how to research you know, you think them bikini waxes is all cute and all of that stuff but you are losing your intellectual and your spiritual cosmic connection with your creator and nature by the way you losing that and you wonder why you don't have that six and seven cents no more you can't even connect with your environment you can't even connect with the environment because the only way to connect through the environment is through something called the Merkel's disc. The Merkel's disc is in your hair buds, the Merkel disc receptors, the thermal disc receptor. These receptors are how you communicate with everything that's external to your mind. Even the way you view light, the way you view color, the way you taste, everything is due to your hair and the melanin receptors and the melocytes that's inside of the hair bud. And y'all cutting it off or y'all are eating all of these acid and mucus forming food and now all of a sudden you you getting alopecia or you thinning and you doing all the and stress do it too because stress actually brings on these immunosuppressing uh 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 corticoroids as well y'all so we just have to be very 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 particular with our environment and what we choose to put in our bodies and and who we choose to interact with y'all and even where we choose to live all this have an effect on your body your brain your brain is connecting in the extensions of your nervous system your nervous system is an extension and connecting of your skin and your skin is an extension in the connection of your hair it's all the same thing made from the ectoderm the ectoderm and embryology when you look at embryology and you study the nervous system in the brain and you study the skin and the hair they're all made from the same associated tissues so your skin and your hair is a part of your brain that's why when you get scared guess what or you see some paranormal activity what stand up huh is it the leg that stand up <laughs> is it the eyelid that stand up or is it the hair that stands up on your skin is it the hair that stands up you see what i'm saying look you are way more spiritual than you think you are way more important than you think you are way more powerful than you think you see that they just got into really changing our genes and changing our bodies you see that see what the they whole trick is to change your mind if i can make you think you not nothing if i can make you think that that gland don't mean nothing you have the appendix it don't mean anything you can live without it <laughs> then you take your appendix out now you have all type of gut problems because the appendix is what actually produces bacteria oh them tonsils ha huh, take them out there's no reason for god 
God made a damn mistake, buddy. Then they take your tonsils out. Now you can't even grain your brain because your tonsils are big ass lymph nodes that drains your brain from amyloid protein, from acid buildup in the brain, from all type of things. And we wonder why we're very, very high when it comes to bald headedness. We wonder why it's high when we come to neurological diseases. We wonder why we high when it comes to autism, when it comes to dementia, when it comes to Alzheimer's disease, because we don't even know where to drain it from because the lymphatic system drains into, in the, I mean, the lymphatic system drains into the lymphatic system by way of the tonsils. See that? They be making you think that these body parts on you, God was just like, damn, I got some extra pieces. Let me just throw this shit in here a little bit. You know, like the creator was just, damn, there was some extra pieces left. Let me, let me just put that on there and call that a lymph node. Let me just put that on the skin and call that a hair. Let me hang that from the vagina and call that a pubic hair. They don't, they ain't, you know, no, most high don't work like that. Most high do not work like that. Period. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let me blow this up real quick, y'all. So when you start looking, I want to show y'all something that they will never show y'all. So what this is showing y'all is the proper drainage of the hair follicles. So your hair follicles actually have a lymphatic system. And let me do a, a side by side comparison real quick to show you that they're not they're not putting these things on the cadavers. So when you look at the cadavers, do you see any green lymph? No, you don't. You see nerves and you see blood. That's all you see. You do not see that green lymph. Why are they trying so hard to keep that away from us? And then they say, well, we just found out about the lymphatic system in 2015. We've been teaching this for 10 years. I know doctors and I know other people that have been teaching this for 50 years. It's been around. Y'all been new about it. Y'all we y'all just can't keep it under wraps no more because we screaming and yelling this from the rooftop now. So y'all like, let us go ahead and come out and make a statement about it. So notice on all of your cadavers and everything, they don't have the lymphatic system because they was pushing that immune system lie upon us. But we can learn how to truly, truly cleanse our body and heal our body of all the diseases that they've been giving us in the first place. Facts. All right. Now, let's talk about this. So this actually talks about how the hair grow through lymphatic drainage and how it can uh, subsequently, for real stop growing due to the lymphatic system being backed up. Look at how it's all around the hair follicles and the rare, the hair buds. Notice it's growing from the collective lymphatic vessels. Oh, we. Oh, we notice how it's being pushed. It's being pushed by smooth muscle cells. Oh, we boy, <laughs> you bald headed because that lymphatic system ain't working right. You have alopecia because that lymphatic system is not working right. That's what's going on with us. That's what's wrong. That's what's wrong. Look, check this out. It says lymphatic vessels play a crucial role in tissue fluid homeostasis, immune cell trafficking, and dietary lipid absorption. Hold on. Hold on. It says an extensive network of lymphatic vessels beneath the epidermis provide a highway for the transport of immune cells that patrol the skin to the lymph nodes. It says where antigens, and I just tell y'all about that, where antigens are present to the immune system for surveillance. And I'm going to show y'all how this actually causes alopecia. But I want to get to the part where it start talking about the hair. Y'all can read this on your own time. Screenshot this if y'all want to. Let me get down to the nitty gritty. It says... It says, uh, let's see, it says work demonstrates the superficial lymphatic vessels located in the dermis share a intimate and dynamic uh, spectacle association with hair follicle stem cells. Oh, we hold on. Boy, these daggers. Hey, ain't nobody ever talked about this. Look, ain't nobody ever talked. Who was talking about this? And you wonder why you bought it's your lymphatic system. Y'all, did y'all see what that just said? Did y'all see what that just said? So yeah, so look, it's saying that the lymphatic system, the lymphatic vessels are located in the dermis of the skin, and it shares an intimate and dynamic relationship and association with hair follicle stem cells. So if the lymphatic system have acids in it because the lymphatic system is not flowing. Flowing properly because your adrenals down and because of your kidneys are all backed up then guess what all of that acid is going to be backed up into the brain the glymphatic system and the lymphatic system will go down so the acids is not able to get pulled that is going to trigger a so-called immune response or what we're going to call a mucosa membrane response the mucosa membrane is going to saddle up the gangbangers the gangbangers is going to come and try to defend their territory and if you hanging with the gangbangers when you supposed to be a part of this gang these associated lymphatic tissues you getting got with the 
the actual acids. And that's how the hair starts to become damaged on the surface of the head. And that's how the corrosion happened and all of the different cellular welding of the cells happen in the head. And then they call this alopecia when it starts forming in certain type of circles and uh, ovules and stuff like that. There it go. That's it. If y'all get that so far, type in some nines. Erica B, you finna get to it. Be patient. Sit down. Be patient. <laughs> Everybody tell me how you cleanse the lymphatic system. Sit y'all butts down and watch. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all. But I gotta get mine off first. Ain't no point in telling you how to cleanse if you don't know how it works, because then you're gonna get yourself back in the same position that you was in. All right, we got nines in the building. Cool, cool, cool. Let's keep it going. Let's keep this going. Now, now I want to show you. So if you really start looking at this, y'all, if you check this out. All right. So now we're talking about alopecia. This is literally how alopecia looks from a biochemical uh, uh, standpoint. Right now, you have something called MHC cells. It's called major histone compatibility complex protein cells. Now, what happens is these cells actually sit inside of the follicle and, and, and they keep and they tell the, uh, the NK cells, they tell the, C, the T cells, they tell the mast cells to calm down. But when acids away at these things and the lymphatic system is not working because the adrenal glance is down these mhc cells start missing so what happens is you don't have any type of corticoroids or steroids to tell the t cells that hey y'all no the block cool ain't nothing everybody good ain't nothing been stolen the enemy ain't here so so since you don't got that what the t cells and what the b cells and what the mass cells and what the nk cells do they come and they start destroying the cells that actually builds the hair now, notice this was the actual effect. This was not the cause. See, the cause was the acids. The acids is actually what actually uh, 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 what we cause uh, uh, stimulated the mucosa membrane. Then the mucosa membrane called on the lymphatic lymph uh, lymphocytes, called on the, the 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 leukocytes, called on the T cells, the thymus cells, the B cells, the the neutrophils, the basal fields, the monofields, and then they came and they seen that the acids done chewed away at the MH at the MHC class cells class one and two so then now they start eating away where they see acids and you have nothing protecting the actual innocent bystanders see that and that's what the adrenal glands do the adrenal glands actually performs and produce something that points out and identify the innocent bystander so now you don't have you don't have no type of code anymore because the 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 person that's protecting the innocent bystanders is dead acids and chewed them the hell up Cause you want to eat hamburgers, you want to eat crab legs, you want to eat hog mog and pig feet, you want to eat meat, you want to eat all these proteins, you want to eat animal products, you want to drink milk, eat your dairy products, which is your lactic acid, you want to eat your uric acid, you want to eat unsprouted beans or what we're going to call phytic acid, you want to eat these unripened grains or what we're going to call carbonic acids, all these complex sugars and complex protein amino acids is now creating byproducts of these acids and these acids are stacking on top of acids, stacking on top of the acids from the transverse colon you've been eating this stuff for so long 30 years in now and it made its way up to your brain past the tonsils the lymphatic system is stagnated kidneys ain't working adrenals ain't producing what they need to be producing ain't in control of the autonomic nervous system no more so now you are burning alive and you're burning your hair cells out and if you're burning your hair cells out of your head you already burnt all the hairs inside of your body and if you didn't burn that then you damn sure burning all types of other lymphatic associated tissues and look alopecia is just the 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 middle game the end game of this stuff is cancer neurological brain cancer you get brain tumors and stuff of this alopecia is very 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 serious because this is showing signs of early tumors and cancers in the brain because you have that much acids building up inside your cranial because your transverse colon is backed up because you've been eating wrong foods and you've been associating with the wrong people in your environment i hope y'all really really getting what i'm saying y'all because this is very very uh serious and we're going to talk about how to reverse this. Uh, if y'all if y'all can't be patient, y'all can't be patient. Y'all can most definitely exit my live. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get to it when we get to it. It's my platform. I spend my free time going live for y'all. So y'all not finna tell me uh, how to teach and when to teach. Y'all y'all most definitely ain't finna do that. So anybody got a problem uh, with my length, with, with my lengthy, uh, you know, speech before I get to how to, you know, get rid of this, you can exit stage left. All right. So now what I want to show y'all is this. 
So we talked about this in my last live, y'all. We talked about this in my last live. Now, when you start dealing with the lymphatic system, uh, the lymphatic system of the body uh, uh, is associated with all types of lymph nodes. I'm going to show y'all that. But you have something called the glymphatic system, which is actually the lymphatic system of the actual head. Now, a lot of people don't talk about this. Just in 2000. Uh, 19 y'all 2019 they finally found the lymphatic system of the brain and they call it the glymphatic system y'all so you know before before 2015 they never said anything about a lymphatic system before 2019 which is four years later then they finally found the glymphatic system which is the lymphatic system of the brain y'all now there's ways to drain the lymphatic fluid and i'm gonna show y'all how before we do that i want to show y'all on a cadaver uh this cadaver was just made like three to four years ago we spent a bunch of thousands of dollars on it but it actually shows the lymphatic system in the brain and it shows you how to cleanse it so i want to show y'all that give me one second So if you look at this cadaver right here, you actually start seeing all the lymph nodes that's associated with the lymphatic system. What I particularly want to show you is once you pass the throat area and you pass the tonsils, the tonsils are uh, lymph nodes. Lymph nodes have a lot of different bacteria in them. The bacteria inside of lymph nodes are called macrophages, right? Macrophages is made to eat up acids. Not only is macrophages is made to eat up acids, but they also chew on toxins. They chew on uh, different types of uh, cells that need to be broken down and passed through the kidneys and the, the adrenals uh, not only that they're in control of being the trash can of the body they act as a septic tank you know in septic tanks septic tanks is where the poop go and what breaks down the poop is the bacteria but too much so so the lymph so the lymph nodes is full of thousands and thousands of, of, of bio bifidum bacteria lactose bilis bacteria and macrophages they deal with chewing on the acids right so notice where the lymph the lymph nodes are really agglomulated at in the stomach because this is where most of our food go through. You see a lot of them in the lungs area because that's what breathe and most of the oxygen we get to actually bring the, the, the life to our blood. We see that they're up under the armpits a lot because that's where we sweat out all the cytotoxins and stuff. You see a day in the neck and they start going to the brain. So whenever you look at an important organ in the body, which all the organs are important in the body, but notice when we're talking about very, very important organs that you can't live without, notice all the lymph nodes that's associated with that particular organ what i want to show you is in the brain notice all these lymph nodes in the brain you have lymph nodes behind the ear maxillary lymph nodes you have lymph nodes uh, uh all right up under the throat close to the thyroid you have lymph nodes in the back of the head back by the cerebellum you have so many lymph nodes in the brain but they never show you this on any type of google you have to straight pay thousands of dollars to even find this stuff out, showing you that they they deliberately doing this and they know what they doing to us, y'all. So since I showed y'all on the cadaver these uh, associated lymph nodes, associated tissues, and showing you that you do have lymph nodes to drain the brain, I want to show y'all on the computer. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and it's all associated with the gut. Remember, I'm always talking about lymphatic pressure, y'all. The only way you can relieve lymphatic pressure in the head and in the sinus cavities to start draining the brain to get rid of the alopecia, to get rid of autism, to get rid of cerebral palsy, to get rid of any neurological problem or any cranial problem. In order to get rid of that lymph, you have to open up the actual lymphatic system of the gut first. You got to cleanse the transverse colon, period. All right, before we get into that, I want to do my commercial, put my headphones back on. Boy, it's getting hot as that thing up in here. That's how you know I'm in spirit. All right, for those that don't know, I will be in San Diego, California uh, on the 7th, May 7th. It's a, that's a, a Saturday or a Saturn's Day. Uh, we will be in San Diego, California at the World Beat Cultural Center, 2100 Park Boulevard, San Diego, California, 92101. There is food that's going to be there. We're going to be giving y'all an amazing presentation. Uh, we're going to be giving away seeds. My seed banking actually starts on that day. So we're going to be talking about programs that we got set up and everything. Uh, the doors open at 11. It start at 1. It end at 6 p.m. We're going to start the after social 
at 7 30 p.m and we're gonna kick it we're gonna build we're gonna eat good and we're gonna give some free mind free information and knowledge and we're not only talking about being free we are being free we got programs and play and all of that so make sure that y'all come out and y'all support that and y'all y'all get on that that, that a whole different conference call with us because we got a lot of stuff going and we building globally right now y'all uh, for those that don't know how to get the tickets, how you get the tickets is simply by, uh, let me change my screen, simply by going to eventbrite.com, go to eventbrite.com, uh, just type in Yaki Awaken. I, I did a, a lot of seminars through here, so a lot of things will pop up that's already passed, but just look for May 7th and it'll pop up, get your tickets and you can read about the event and you can see the place that's actually involved or what you would get with your ticket price of just find you a, 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 a inexpensive hotel close to there and make sure y'all come out. It's going to be some amazing news that's going to be brought forth. Not only will it be amazing news that's brought forth, but we will be giving away seeds, y'all. So you can start growing your seeds we having a lot of different gift giveaways we'll be giving out herbs and all of that so make sure y'all pop out pop out uh for anybody that's looking for any type of herbs always visit me at uh www.yakiawaken.com uh, the website is full of information this website will not be here uh for too much longer because we are building a new website so that'll be up sometime next month uh yahweh willing or what we say yahweh rock zone in the hebraic tongue uh if you need geogenetics just click on the geogenetics tab buy you geogenetics if you have any type of diseases that's too too uh chronic you know uh degenerative diseases make sure you book a consultation with the staff for a hundred dollars and they'll tell you exactly which geogenetic package you need. If you're just looking for herbs, you know, for preventive maintenance, just go to the herbal store. A whole list of pop up. You can go to teas, capsules. You can go to consultations, tonics, oils, hygienes, whatever you need. This website is completely informational. You can go to the education tab and cl click on the Eat to Live page, instruction page, uh, the 12 body systems, the herbs that I approve, the list of resources. Everything is on here for your herbal needs. We have many, many, many healing testimonies from diseases that they say say you can't get rid of all the testimonies is on my facebook or you can just google them yaki cancer healing testimony it'll pop up yaki herpes healing testimony these things will pop up and they do exist all right with that being said let's get back to it that concludes my that concludes my uh my commercial all right if y'all ready to get back started type in some nines and let's get to it so we didn't talked about the lymphatic system we didn't talked about the glymphatic system we didn't showed you how you get alopecia from built up acids we didn't went through the different exchanges showing how you know it's a it's a miscommunication because the acids is eating up the actual uh the actual mh cells that's com the mhc cells that's communicating and it shows you even more when you start looking at what's going on with the side of the hair and it shows you it says the loss of immune uh privilege but you know we go by lymphatic so the loss of lymphatic privilege neuropeptides or what we call neuroproteins and these proteins is actually what keeps the lymphocytes from eating away at your hair follicles because you have mhc1 cells and mhc2 cells that actually tell the cd4 t cells hey back up you know what i'm saying i'm not an acid hey back up i'm not a i'm not a, a damaged cell hey back your ass up i ain't no amyloid protein damn man back up quit trying to why is you always on me you know what I'm saying? I ain't no piece of a protein from a ham hock that I just choked down. I ain't no piece of a protein from 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 the grease that I've been drink uh, eating from from them fries. I ain't no lipid. I ain't none of it. Back up. That's what the MHC class one and the MHC class two protein peptides are actually there for. They're there to make sure that the police is being policed. They damn near like the Secret Service. Don't the Secret Service police the police? Because sometimes the police get out of hand You know what I'm saying Sometimes the police just do what the hell they want to do So they need a police to police them And that's where you get MHC from Which is major histone compat compat uh, compatibility complex cells That's where they at they, they policing the police Hold on you're arresting the wrong people Hold on we got to take you to court Hold on, that was that was an aggressive arrest right there. Let's let's check your track record. That's what the MHC cells do. When acids eat the MHC cells, we don't have that there to actually be looking out for the innocent bystanders. So the police or what we call the lymphocytes and the phagocytes can just do what the hell they want to do, and they do their job good. Cause guess what they do? They find, target, kill, and destroy. That's what they do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like a wild pit bull that you done fed blood to all his life and you just let it off his chain and let it run. It's going to bite somebody. 
You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, we have to respect our body, learn and know our bodies to know that we need to keep our bodies in a state of homeostasis, eating a fully alkaline diet. That way we're not producing so many acids and these acids and amyloid proteins don't start destroying the cells that's looking out for the innocent bystanding cells. That way when lymphocytes and phagocytes, the neutrophils and basophils start entering into the bloodstream looking for something to kill, they don't have anything to kill. Who we? We hey that's that's right, Jalan uh Yisrael, the straight hit squad. <laughs> the straight hit squad, family. The straight up hit squad. All right, so let's get back to it. So now we into it. Uh now once we start talking about this, I talked about this last time. We talking about how to drain the brain. You drain the brain by cleansing up the gut. All right, we're gonna work a little backwards today. So you have something called the mastoid lymph nodes, you have the maxillary lymph node, you have the optic lymph nodes, you have the paratoid, the parotid lymph node, which is associated with the parathyroid. You see that you have the uh the supermandibular lymph nodes, you have the superstitial uh 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 how you say that? Cervical lymph node, you have the submental lymph node, all these lymph nodes are associated and it's in your actual head now the way you drain lymph nodes i'm gonna give you the herbs and everything you need but first we have to talk about how to drain it and talk about the diet you always have to go after the actual intestines y'all these lymph nodes are associated with your sinus cavities because this is where all the lymph and the mucus is actually held at inside of your head that's why it's good to wake up with with with, with snot coming out of your nose and coming out of your eyes and with earwax that means that these things are leaving but the, in order to get rid of all of this buildup of mucus and build up a pus forming things you have to get rid of what's causing a problem and usually it's it's, it's tainted air it's bad water and it's bad food y'all i can't stress diet enough get off the diet and start going into a livid and you can start literally getting rid of these things when you get on fruits you get on berries you get on melons and you get on watery vegetables all alkaline not gmo all organic haven't had herbicides pesticides and insecticides actually sprayed on them what what happens is hydration take place and once you get hydration with mucus water overpowers oil y'all all day if you get enough hydration in It'll start breaking up the lipids and getting the acids out of the body because it's starting to actually move the lymph. But the whole thing to get the lymph to move is to get the adrenal glands back online and to open up them kidneys for filtration. In order to do that, you have to cleanse out the actual gut. So before we get back to this, I'm going to show you how to cleanse these things. We have to talk about the gut, y'all. The gut is so important. And I'm going to show you why the gut is important. Let me show you why. Hold on, family. This is the reason why the gut is important. <sighs> I thought I had it. Let me move this out the way, family. Hold on, where we at? Uh, hijacking of the African consciousness. Eat to live. Bang. All right, we're going to pull this up real quick. This is one for one of my seminars. Let's go straight to the lymphatic system. All right, here we go. All right, family. So we see the tonsils, the tonsils in the mouth. Like I said, that the tonsils act as a lymph node. We know with inside the lymph nodes is macrophages. These macrophages actually break down acids and they, they literally disintegrate acids and acidosis uh, for the body can maintain a balance of homeostasis. Now, when you start really getting into the lymph nodes in the upper uh, uh, cervical, uh, you start seeing what's going on. Now, look at all these different lymphocytes in the pharynx, y'all. All of these are tonsils and these tonsils actually break down the acids that's in the brain now we see where most of the alopecia is coming from and most of these neurological diseases is coming from a lot of people had they they tonsils removed or they tonsils are calcified due to down thyroids or calcium coming in because you're eating too many acids we understand we got to understand that calcium this is where you get the word calcification from how you have a calcified pineal gland calcified uh, uh periental lobe calcified pituitary gland calcification gout uh, arthritis 
colitis. All these are signs of calcification because you have too much calcium in the bloodstream. And the only reason why you have calcium in the bloodstream because calcium is an electrical uh, mineral and it's what buffers or neutralize acids. So when you have too many acids built up in the body, guess what's going to be released inside the bloodstream by the bone, calcium bone matrix? The calcium is to come neutrify. Well, I tell y'all this in damn near every video. Once calcium mixed with uric acid, which is from the meats you eating or lactic acid from the dairy products from the meats you eating or carbonic acid from these gnarly grains and phytic acid once it mixed with these acids and it mixed with more mucus it crystallized and this crystallization is actually what causes calcification of all these different lymph nodes that we're talking about that actually breaks down the acids and keep your brain draining okay now when you start looking at actually what these things do and show you where they're located at y'all this is the reason why a lot of us is having teeth problem as well if you have if you have alopecia you have tooth problems you might not be feeling it but it's coming because you got too much acids in your mouth too much acids in your head everything is holistic everything is associated y'all if you have ear problems notice notice that the peritoy uh, salivary, uh, salivary glands is right up under the ear a lot of people wonder why they have ear eggs don't even know that you're dealing with swollen tonsils and swollen lymph noise inside of your mouth area at the bottom of your cranium start googling it it will look you can common google will show you this stuff stuff that you never would think that was true that you never even knew a day in your life actually exists you see that so we have to make sure that we keeping these glands clean and we keeping these tonsils clean because all you might call them glances, but they are lymph nodes. Salivary glances produces trypsin and produces amulose. Trypsin and amulose is an actual lipid. These are alkaline lipids to help you break down your food. If these things are not cleansed up, they can get calcified. Not only do they secrete, but they help break down bad things as well. Now, if it can't break down acids, that means acids is going to start building up. And this is how these acids get to the brain and start burning away at your hair follicles and your hair buds see that white drainage patches these are your tonsils notice what there's called white drainage patches this is how you drain acids this is how you drain bacteria this is how you drain unwanted cytotoxins and toxemias that's in the brain area so we can't be letting people take our tonsils all right then you start getting to the thyroid gland. Uh, the thyroid gland and the actual thymus gland not only act as lymphatic associated draining tissues, but they produce something as well. All right. Now I want to go straight to the point. I want to get to the point. All right. Let's talk talking about the stomach because this is what we need to cleanse. Now you have four parts to the duodenum of the duodenum. And this is what we have to cleanse. We have to cleanse out this area for we can get the right nutrients and the right absorption. Now, the duodenum is a nine inch intestinal tract that's inside of the gut is connected to the stomach and then it connects to your small intestines. This part is where all of your absorption happen at. This is where most of your hair is at inside of your body to help that absorption. Inside of that hair is where a lot of microbiotas or what we call bacteria live at that helps you break down and ferment your food and bring all them goodies into the bloodstream. This is where also all of your lymph nodes are really associated at. Not only that, but this is where a lot of your nerves is at. So if we can cleanse this part of the gut, then we can relieve that pressure. And if you can relieve that lymphatic pressure from the transverse colon and from the duodenum, then you can start really draining the, the sinus cavities of all of that mucus and all of that lymph, that lymphatic fluid that's actually backing up that's holding on to them acids, y'all. OK, I'm going to show you all how to do it. I just want to walk you all through the step. That way y'all know what y'all doing. Here go the microvilli. These are the hairs that's inside of the actual lining of the duodenum that helps you absorb your food or push your food into the small intestines for you can go to the bathroom and defecate. This stuff have to be clean. You see that this stuff have to be clean. Let's keep it going. All right. Let me get back to this. So the whole thing is to cleanse the transverse colon or what we call the colon or the large intestines. Now, the transverse colon is the colon that's going horizontally uh, across the whole entire uh, picture that I'm showing y'all. That big old piece that's up under the stomach and under the liver that's horizontally right there. That is what you actually call the transverse colon. This is where most of the pressure is coming from. If you can cleanse this colon, you can start relieving all of that 
backed up fluid and all that backed up acids and you can start draining the brain and now you can start turning on the tonsils and turning on the lymph nodes that's associated inside of the brain to start eating up the acids but if it's acids everywhere because this system is pressurized and that pressure is being backed up because the transverse colon is swollen or have some type of prolapse going on or it's hanging from the actual bowel duct walls because you've been eating too many acids and it's deteriorating then you're going to have them acids building up in the brain and you're going to start losing hair but look we need to quit worrying about the effect of losing hair on the outside you need to truly be worrying about losing hair on the inside of the body first because the hair on the inside of the body is how the body actually function y'all See that once you take care of the hair on the inside Then you will start seeing the hair on the outside Grow again I don't give a damn if it's alopecia If it's just you having bald headedness thinning, Thinningness If you having all types of neurological functioning You have an Alzheimer's disease Cerebral palsy anything you Autism if you learn how to cleanse That gut properly and relieve that lymphatic Pressure then you can get the acids And the amyloid protein out of the brain From killing the brain and deteriorating The brain through acidosis you see that now let's talk about the the cecum valve and let's talk about the appendix because this plays a major role into actually cleansing out the transverse colon you need to make sure that you're producing the adequate amount of bacteria because remember y'all get somebody tell me what do bacteria actually produces well, I mean, what, what is the, the functioning job of bacteria? The appendix is actually what creates bacteria. What is the job of bacteria though? Give it to me y'all. I'm, I'm looking at the comment board. What do bacteria do? Huh? Who got it? What does bacteria do, family? What does the bacteria do? Yes, bacteria does clean waste, but it does, yes, it eats acids, meaning that it cleans up cellular producing waste. It cleans up cellular producing waste. So if you got cellular producing waste building up in the transverse colon, that means that you need to actually have that appendix working properly, that cecum and that chyme or chyme working properly to get that bacteria to the transverse colon to make sure it's cleaning stuff up. Because if it's not cleansing stuff up, it's going to prolapse. That prolapsing is what brings in bowel pockets. These bowel pockets fill up with lymphatic fluid and mucus. Now you got pressure coming in. The pressure starts building up and now the lymphatic system gets stagnated. Or what they call the interstitium fluid of the human body. It gets stagnated. Now you pushing it up to the brain. Now all these acids don't have nowhere to go. So it's sitting in the cranium. So the, the, the way out is through the hair follicles. They like, shoot, I need to come out somewhere. The body is going to push it somewhere. So the body is going to push the acids to the hair follicles. Now, once it's in the follicles, you already know what's happening. The body going to alert the lymphatic system. Now you got the T cells, the B cells, the lymph sites, the phagocytes, the leukocytes coming in to kill the acids. But uh-oh, the acids is clinging on to the hair follicles, trying to find their way out of the body. And now they are what? And it's in bystander. Hair gone. Boom, this happened trillions of times. Now it's forming patches. It happens two tons of trillions of times. You completely bald headed. Depending on where is that in the hair follicle, whether we're talking about at the root or we're talking about the bud or the gland of the follicle, sometimes it can become damaged where you can never grow hair again until you get rid of the scar tissue that came from the acids because acids weld and burn shit together. This is, we talking about the acidic side of chemistry. All this is based off of acidosis. So if we can change the acid side of chemistry to a base alkaline chemistry, guess what? You can get your life back. You can get your hair back. You can get your sex back. You can get everything you need back. It's acids that's killing us. It's not mucus. It's not, it's not the parasites. It's not the bacteria. It's the acid side of chemistry. And these are facts, y'all. These are the facts. Let's get back to it. So we got to get this back up working. The three bitters, the three bitters is what's going to actually give you your bacteria back. Y'all let me take a sip of my tea. The three bitters, the three bitters, especially when you start talking about the quassia chips, you start talking about the Judah, the Judah bark and the bush bark and stuff like that. The bitter barks uh, from Jamaica. They do a very, very, very good job at putting all of that pro what, what we're going to call probiotic back into the intestinal tract and reproducing good bacteria from the appendix uh, in the in the cecum colon, y'all. So so the three bitters, bitter one, bitter one, bitter one, bitter one, bitter one and bitter three. Bitter one and bitter three is amazing uh, when it really comes to putting that bacteria uh, back in your body. Bitter one and bitter three. Get the three bitters, y'all. All right. Let's keep it going. 
I'm just going through a few things, y'all. Now we're talking about the kidneys. I want to talk about the kidneys because, you know, in order to cleanse out the transverse colon, once you break all of that agglomeration, coagulation, and all that bullshit up, now you got to filtrate it. The only way to filtrate these things is either through perspiring, which you sweating, you going to a sauna, and you getting it throughout your skin. That's the way you get rid of your microwaves. But then you actually have the kidneys that's going to deal with all of it. Now, notice how the kidneys is directly in correlation with the lymphatic system. They work synonymously as one. They're one they're like a a couple and on top of the kidneys you have something called the adrenal glands and the adrenal glands act as the power to the kidneys in order to turn the kidneys on they have to be powered up by the adrenal glands the adrenal glands then produces all these epinephrons and neuroepinephrons and these steroids or what we're going to call corticoids or corticoroids and this is where you actually start getting these different types of cholesterol the cholesterol uh steroids that's going to shoot up to the brain and tell the ms AC cells like look hey this is innocent bystanders you can't come over here t-cell and b-cells to kill my hair follicles and that's how you grow your hair a lot of people think that cholesterol is bad but it's not y'all it's not a lot of people think mucus is bad when it's not a lot of people think steroids and salt is bad when it's not when it's produced by the body naturally it is the most greatest thing ever in existence when you start taking it synthetically or start producing too much because you're eating the wrong things that's when we have the problem y'all y'all see that now i tell y'all this all the time if you want to get them kidneys going if you want to get them kidneys online you already know what you got to do you already know what you got to do you got to go on an all fruit diet you can't be playing around you can't be saying i'm gonna eat berries and fruits this day and then i'm switching over and i'm gonna eat a hard salad and you can't be messing around with cooked food if you really want to get them kidneys back online you're gonna have to be in your fruits and berries and melons mind state high in grapes high in berries melons is very very good too melons are rebuilders even mono fruit fast stick with an apple for a few days then switch to grapes for a couple days switch to nothing but melons for a couple days but play around in the actual production side of the vegetable kingdom the producing side is the side that it's associated with reproduction and seeds these are your fruits fruits is made for healing y'all they cleanse the body the vegetables rebuilds the body we're not looking to rebuild right now we're trying to clean so i'm gonna stay away from the vegetables because i'm trying to drain i need all types of fruits that's going to be very very liquefying very very hydrating h302 healing carbon constituents i'm gonna get that from my fruits my berries and my melons then when it's time to rebuild i can go to my vegetables and my ripe grains and stuff but right now we don't even need to have that in my head i'm not growing hair that mean i'm bald-headed on the inside of my body so i need to start draining and hydrating breaking up acidosis coagulation putting out fires here and there putting out inflammation flames fire we in a lake of fire right now i gotta put i gotta quench it see that that's through eating your fruits and drinking your fruits See that then you start adding in your herbs like our kidney and our adrenal kit from off the website or you can add in your own herbs and go get you some juniper berries go get you some cleavers go get you some burdock go get you some some blood root go get you some uh, uh some red root go get you some some uh, uh uh some plantain plantain leaf go get you some lamb quarters leaf start getting these things and mixing them together feel your way through it everybody think that you have to know the exact ratio no feel your way this was a feeling thing when you look at i'm in hope tip and you start getting back into our ancient african culture the way that they went through the herbs they were very connected because they had the hair on their body and they understood they seven senses they knew how to mm, this herb feel good let me mix it with that herb damn that feel good you know what i'm saying there were no exact measurements and all of this look that's the let's get let's get on with the muckety muck we are spiritual divine people feel your way through it ain't no right or wrong way for, for, for that particular side, I'm because I got to be careful with my words because there is a right and wrong way with healing. Because if you give somebody too much of something, you can kill them. For instance, too much licorice root will give you heart attack and stroke if you have, have high blood pressure. Too much uh, poke root will kill you. Poke root is very, very toxic. So let me be careful and watch my words here, y'all. I'm glad I just see. I'm, I'm glad I'm listening right now. But what I'm saying is start feeling your way through. If it's not a toxic root. And you just dealing with leaves and like not a leaf like chaparral because too much chaparral will shut down the kidneys. But if you ain't dealing with like toxic leaves and roots and you dealing with calming herbs, feel your way through that. Now, with these toxic herbs, the bust tumors and all of that, you might need to go take one of my classes. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm glad I just, yeah, the muckety muck. I'm glad I just uh, said that though. I don't want y'all out here killing y'all selves or killing nobody. 
But this is what I'm talking about. So let's go back to it and we're going to get back to it. If, if y'all understanding what I'm saying so far, type of some nines. So we're going to hit you with the all fruit, all fruit, all fruit, all fruit, all fruit. Vitamin D help regulate inflammation as well. Vitamin D, vitamin D, vitamin D, man. Look, we let's 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 not even talk about vitamin D. What is vitamin D? Vitamin D is cholesterol. LDL cholesterol at that vitamin D is converted by the sun do through cholesterol. So, you know, we got to get it, get rid of these vitamin words. There's a such thing as mineral and vital minerals, but all these vitamin D's and vitamin D 12s, that stuff don't exist. Just like for instance, vitamin B 12 actually come from a covalent derivatives. So we got to We have to, we have to get out of the vitamin world. We got to get out of the vitamin world. It's all, it's all crap. It's all bull stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like your conversion is by way of cholesterol. This is the lipid based system. We talking about lymphatic associated tissues. That's what creates so-called vitamin D. Vitamin D is not even a, a, a real thing. We talking about cholesterol being converted over by, by melanin sites and by the sun. And then these things collide with certain minerals like calcium and, and certain amino acid like tarsinine. And when they put them together, they label them words that don't even make no sense or mean nothing. This is where you get your D3s, your D12s, your B12s. And all of this stuff come from, we talking about minerals here. These are minerals being utilized by the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands is in control of the cholesterol-based system or what we call the lymphatic system or what we call the steroid or co the corticoid system. All of that, we talking about lymphatic and we talking about kidneys and adrenals. So like we, once we start getting into the vitamin Ds and all of that, we starting to get into that allopathic uh, uh, illusional world that's going to keep you farther away from the truth as possible. Let's keep it simple and let's, 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 let's key in on this base system called the lymphatic system which is your cholesterol base or what you would get your so-called vitamin d from which is your mucosa membrane base is where you're going to get your protection from which is where your phagocytes your lymphocytes and all of that vitamin d immune system and b12 we have to get out of that because once you go and they give you their line ass charts and they say well your vitamin d low when you feeling good as hell now you didn't you didn't bought into you know what i'm saying the 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 placebo effect and you looking for something that don't exist or they tell you the only way you get B12 is from your animals. You know, you got to eat your lambs and your, you like, hold on. How is that when B12, if it did exist, it's a derivative of cobalt mineral. Men, you see that? Or all. Men's means from. Or means light. All means above. Mineral from the light above. We talking about fractionals of melanin. Associated fragment pieces of crystals that come from this liquid crystal, crystals we talking about. That's dealing with the lipid side of chemistry. We dealing with the cholesterol, LDL and HDL cholesterol and steroids whenever we so call talking about vitamins. And notice vitamins. We talking about amen, aman, amen ra. Amen when you start talking about sun gods and stuff like that. All all of this is associated with Greek methodology, terminology, and mythology. That's where these words is coming from. So let's be very, very careful uh, uh, about studying their ways and studying how they they what they call certain words because it, it it means nothing. It means nothing whatsoever. And we start we have to get into the biochemical difference and makeup uh, in different people and different species. You see what I'm saying? Like we don't really necessarily have something called a vitamin D. We have cholesterol, lymphs, and carbon. They call all that carbon melanin you know what i'm saying and that's why it's a whole and that's why dr sabi went so hard on the word carbon and not mel that's why he went so hard on certain words because he like look don't get lost in the translations because all of that shit don't even have no definition to it that's even associated with you nor your culture Hopefully y'all get that. So let's be careful when we start getting into vitamins. Cause now you think you're gonna need a vitamin D supplement and you gonna when all you need is the sun. You just need that sun to hit that 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 melanin. You need that sun to hit that HDL, LDL cholesterol and be converted over by amino acids, tarsinine, lysine, arginine, adenosine. You know, and no such thing as these vitamins. Sorry to tell you. Sorry to tell you. But we there is a such thing as vital minerals. All right, family, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. All right, family. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So now we're talking about how to drain. Now you see lymph node over here into my in my top left, right? Notice we got the lymph nodes going up the back of the neck into the brain, right? And it's showing you how the lymph nodes is supposed to flow, and it's showing you how healthy system fluid drains to the lymph nodes. See that these fluids are supposed to drain through the lymph nodes. Then it shows you. 
a, a, a lymphoma, a lymphedema blocked fluid causes swelling, showing you when the lymphatic system is so stagnated it causes you to swell up. See, that causes you to pull all waters from the tissues. And now acidosis is building up in certain areas of the body. This is the fastest way to get alopecia, hair loss, or any type of disease when this system is not freed up, when this system is not flowing properly because you're not on an all-fruit diet cleansing. You should cleanse at least 12 at least twelve days out of every season. Every 90 days, you should cleanse 12 days at least, family. At least, just to keep the system moving. Lymphatic problems is the reason why we're sick and the reason why we're dying. See that? Then you have something called the interstitial fluid, which is this blue water. The cell sits on top of this rivers of fluid, y'all. And these fluid, and, and it's mixed with blood too. And what happens is the blood feeds these cells. Then you got the nervous system, which is the yellow. They they talk to the cells and give them receptors through hair and stuff like that. But then you got the lymphatic system that's actually breaking down and taking all of the byproducts of all of the shit that's going on. You got proteins being broken down. You got lymph vessels being active. You got carbon dioxide being. You got cellulite. You got you got fibers working. You got oxygen being co- converted over to carbon dioxide. You got lipids. You got adenopose. You got so many reactions and processes going on in the body. It's creating a hell of an acidic environment. And we need a system to get rid of this acids. That's the lymphatic system. The, look, everything is made of cells, y'all. Your brain is made of cells. Your skull is made of cells. Your fingernail is made of cells. Your, 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 your reproductive organs is made of cells. Everything about you, you're a body made of 100 and 50 trillion cells each cell have to eat and poop just like you do so when these cells poop they're pooping their own waste on top of them even your hair cells so you got poop and you got acids on there this acids need to be cleansed by the lymphatic system if not the lymphatic system is going to be calling the big dogs out and the big dogs gonna come get the acids and get whatever else is around it y'all and these are just the facts and then you see how the lymphatic system actually is intertwined with the blood and stuff like that, especially through the spleen. The spleen is where the major part of your lymphatic system and your blood uh, circulatory system meet each other. Even the blood cleans out its unwanted waste into the lymphatic system, y'all, by way of the spleen. And this is what you call lymphatic associated organs. See that? Now we're talking about fatty acid absorption. Without the lymphatic system, you can't even absorb fatty acids. Without fatty acids, you won't have lymphatic system fluid. You won't have mucus nor cholesterol. And remember, cholesterol is what produces the, the, the glycocorticoids and the glycocorticoids and the, and the mineral corticoids is what actually tells the cells to don't kill other cells. So you need the lymphatic system working and flowing properly. Look, the lymphatic system is a lipid cholesterol based system. Y'all think I'm lying. I I didn't make this up. I didn't make this chart either. Let's read this, y'all. The lymphatic system is a lipid cholesterol based system. This is because the lymphatic system carries the acid byproducts from the cells to the lymph nodes, then from the lymph nodes, then from the lymph nodes, then to the kidneys in the skin for elimination. The great lymphatic system is a vast and incredible. It deals with the body cellular waste. It's the sewage system. It is also the main immune system system and lipid absorption and distribution center so anytime you have cholesterol going everywhere that's the lymphatic system responding anytime you have an overproduction of mucus that's the lymphatic system responding anytime you have fats and steroids being produced and you have corticoids being produced epinephrine norepinephrine you got acetylcholine acetylcholine esterase that's all lymphatic system the lymphatic system is one of the most important system of the human body because you breathing just sitting here breathing you produce and acids and the body got to get rid of it if not it's going to get backed up into the colon once it's backed up into the colon the pressure from there is going to back up to your brain now you're going to have all types of cranial neurological brain problems alopecia is one of them see you have to get rid of the acidosis by cleaning the system oh we oh we now we starting to get into the tonsils the thymus the spleen and the bone marrow the b cells the t cells you see what i'm saying all this is how we're going to cleanse it this is a real lymph node in a real lymphatic vessel y'all this is a real picture look how complicated and how beautiful this system is notice the lymphatic system is this cholesterol yellow looking grease like system and notice how it's connected to the blood because the blood is constantly feeding all of its different byproducts into it 
When you stop feeding the lymphatic system byproducts because the kidneys and adrenals are not working, this is when you get all these diseases. So look, everybody want to focus on the head. No, focus on the kidneys and adrenals. Focus on the kidneys and adrenals. That's what we need to be focusing on. And this shows you how everything drains, how it deals with. Look, look at the bottom left part of the screen, y'all. It says pathologens. You see that pathogens and probiotics. Oh, we. So now we see that the lymphatic system even deals with that as well. Everything in your body is actually ran. It's actually ran, y'all, by bacteria. You are a big specimen of bacteria. Then we're talking about gut associated lymphatic tissues, or it's called the GALT, G A L T. You have B plasma cells, TH cells, trig cells, and macrophages or macrophages. Y'all getting a true lesson right now, y'all. A true lesson. All right, let me let me go off of this, and then we're gonna get back to the other pieces I got. Y'all know I I, I, I get to going in. I'll be forgetting the time, y'all. For, forgive me. I'll be forgetting the time. If y'all get what I'm saying so far, type in some nines. If y'all get what I'm saying so far, type in some nines. That's what's up. We got a thousand people in the building still. Y'all holding on. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now. We already talked about how to cleanse out this area right here. We talked about how to cleanse the frontal sinus, the ethmoid sinus, the nasal cavity, the maxillary uh, sinus, the uh, the cephanoid sinus, and the pharynx, right? I want to show y'all something. Let's read this. Now, we're talking about an all-fruit diet, fruits, berries, and melons, high in berries, high in grapes to hydrate the body. We talked about getting the three bitters because the three bitters is going to not only cleanse the gut and the lymphatic system, but the three bitters is going to replace all of the bacteria that you need and it's going to cleanse out that appendix and get that bacteria and that chime and that, 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 that cecum, valve, cecum uh, 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 valve start working back properly, right? Now it's time to start getting into packages to cleanse the brain. Once you cleanse that gut and that gut start draining, now it's time to move move in and start cleansing these systems right here so we we don't even need to we read that last week let's let's go into this one right here so now we're talking about lymphatic vessels and we talk about superficial vessels and deep vessels and it talks about the lymphatic vessels of the head and the neck can be divided into two major groups the superficial vessels and the deep vessels now it's going to start breaking up what i'm talking about in this head see like the head is so complex and that's why it takes a long time to get rid of like uh 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 pituitary tumors i mean look just think about it like this it took you 30 to 40 years to get alopecia it took you 30 to 40 years to build up these acids and all this amyloid protein inside of the brain it's going to take a long time not too long but it's going to take a little while to get it out we we, we spent our whole entire lives getting sick and getting getting obstructed from acids and damage in our body and we think that it's supposed to be healed naturally in one day you you are not even thinking logically it took your whole life to get you in a position you in it's going to take you a little while to clean it's going to take you a little while to clean. All right. Yeah, I know. I done taught y'all so much. Y'all getting better than me. Y'all answering before I answer. <laughs> All praises. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. All right. Lymphatic vessels. It says the lymphatic vessels of the head and neck can be divided into two major groups. The superficial vessels and the deep vessels. Superficial vessels. It says drain lymph from the scalp. So now we see which vessels is messed up. It's the lymphatic vessels that's connected to the scalp, the face, and the neck, and to the superficial ring of the lymph nodes that's in junction of the neck and the head. So we see right here what drains the actual head. What drains the scalp and drains the head is all of the lymphatic systems that's from the nose on down. You see that? Then you got all the different pockets where the mucus is held at. A pocket. 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 Maxillary pocket. See that? Cephnoid pocket. You got all these different pockets, y'all. Filled with nothing but this cholesterol-based system called lymph. And this lymph have all these different so-called immunological uh, 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 receptors in it and, and different type of entities that help keep the body protected so the only way to drain the brain is going after the superficial vessels all right then you got the deep vessels the deep vessels it says the lymphatic vessels of the head and neck arise from the deep cervical lymph nodes it says they converge to form the left and the right jugular lymphatic trunk 
See that? Then it start talking about the left juggler lymphatic trunk, the right juggler lymphatic trunk. Now, when we trace this down, which we were doing part two, this stuff traced down to guess what, y'all? The transverse colon. You cannot make this shit up. So the only way to drain the cranium is by cleansing the gut. Ooh, wee. You can't look. I've been telling y'all this for years, y'all. We finally got the proof to prove it. You can't cleanse that brain until you cleanse your gut. You can't heal nothing on your body until you cleanse that gut because your body is pressurized. It's a combustion chamber. It's a food processing combustion chamber. It deals with pressure. That's why we're so we went we to weather. He had a cool day. He stormed out the room. See that he was hot. He a hot head. We associate everything with weather because you are a part of nature. You're a part of the weather. Everything is pressurized about you. If it's pressure in the sky, there's pressure in your head. Why you think when you go into the airplane and you start getting high in the head, your ears start to pop. The ears is popping because you have too much lymph pressure is building up. The ears pop to relieve pressure for the mucus inside your head won't bust your damn cranium. Why you think you got to put on all types of uh, uh, astrological equipment when they fake going out of space because high altitudes or when they on these G7, when they in these different types of mock speeds, when they in these uh, military armored planes and stuff like that, because your your body is built off of pressure. <laughs> hey, man, y'all going to learn today, man. Y'all going to learn today. So when you cleanse the gut by changing your diet, when you cleanse the gut, by getting on these herbs, these things is actually what relieve the entire system. This higher system, y'all. All right. If y'all got that so far, type in some nines. All praises. I'm glad y'all getting this. Now, look, it's talking about the lymph noise again. Look, it's starting to get into the mastoid. It's starting to get into the paratoid. Look, this is how you cleanse. If you track this thing down, it go all the way back down to the gut. And I just want to show y'all real quick for time's sake, because I get to, I got to get up out of here and I'm going to tell y'all exactly what to do to get rid of this and to get rid of alopecia. And I'm going to show you the actual herbs on the site. But look, check this out, y'all. Let me go back to this real quick. Let me go back to this real fast. Look, check this out, family. You cannot make this shit up, right? Watch this. Watch this. We just finna look. We just finna track it down real quick. Let's get straight to the point here. Let's get straight to the point. Now, check this out. Check this out. So, look, now we starting to talk about the whole entire lymphatic system or the mucosa. Look, notice it's all in the wording. Mucosa immune system. The mucosa membrane is the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is the cholesterol, LDL, HDL cholesterol. It's all the same thing, man. But notice... It start talking about all the tubulo, the the languo, the palatine. It talks talking about the ferrogeno, the ferrogeno uh, tonsils. You see, it's talking about the ring, the very ring that I showed y'all. Now look, when you get down, when you get all the way down, pe peep this gut associated lymph node tissues, the payers patches. Notice it's right in the gut, right in the gut. Notice the pair, the cecum patches. Look, look, the cecum. When we just talking about the cecum valves, guess what's connected to the cecum valves though? The appendix. The colic patches, even your colon, the transverse colon. Look, the isolated lymph node follicles is all there, y'all. You can't make this up. So the only way to drain all the way down here to the gut associated lymph node uh, tissues, you have to drain the, the different lymph nodes that's in the brain. And then this is how we are able to get rid of cere cerebral palsy and we unlocking people. This is how you got people bound up like this. And then you get on, you start messing with Yaki and the team and they unbound before we, we getting people out of wheelchairs that ain't been able to walk for decades. You know what I'm saying? We, we getting rid of autism, nonverbal autism. We getting rid of all these, uh, uh, all these different brain problems, epilepsy. We get, we growing hair back because we know how the system work and we know the sewage system of the body is just backed up and it needs to be drained and plunged it just need well i'm a plumber it needs to be plunged out and you do that by way of the diet turning into a living and by way of the herbs it's point blank period point blank period y'all point blank period so look how you get rid of this issue again you have to cleanse out the transverse colon to relieve that pressure you relieve that pressure uh by getting on the three bitters and eating an all fruit diet i'm gonna take you to the website and show you some things to get all right that's how you that's how you do that and uh, i'll give y'all some herbs too just in case you don't want to buy it from me and i recommend that y'all get my hair oil y'all y'all get my miracle uh hair grow uh, oil we've been growing hair back and i mean patch has been in beards it works so good y'all so let me let me do that real quick. Then we're going to get up out of here. So let's go to the website. 
www.yakiawaken.com. If you're dealing with alopecia, I recommend that you get on my geogenetic therapeutic package and we're going to customize it and we're going to add some things to you. When you order, just make sure you put inside of the note that you have alopecia. That way we can give you everything you need because we're going to have to pay a lot of attention to the adrenal glands. We have to pay a lot of attention to the kidneys to get the adrenal, to get the lymphatic system moving. That way the, in, the glymphatic system can start draining properly. We got to pay a lot of attention to the gut. And you know we have to put something topically on your head as well Alright so uh, let's see So these are the packages y'all Now for anybody that's saying this stuff is too expensive for them You can always go and, and, and do a payment plan What I recommend for alopecia is geogenetic level 2 all right, geogenetic level two. And the reason why, because it's going to take a while. We got to go through the whole entire transverse colon. We got to we got to come from the colon all the way up. And look, it shows you that if you if you want to get on a payment plan, you can do this through sizzle, y'all. You can do it through sizzle or hell go on a website and get all the ingredients. I don't hide my ingredients. Get them off. Try to make it yourself. It's not even about the money for me. I'm good. I'm straight. Now, check this out. Geogenetic Therapeutic Package Level 2. Uh, if you don't want to pay the 1500 up front, you most definitely can break it down into payments, 375 with Sizzle, right? Now, if you look at, all you got to do is read what it does. It breaks down what it does. My packages even break down what's in them, y'all. We break we broke this down last time. You see that? It's, it's all kidney and adrenal herbs inside of here to get that lymphatic system moving. This is what I recommend. All right. This is what I recommend. Now, not only do I recommend that, what we'll do is we'll customize the package for you. We're going to go to my oils, and this is the oil that you're going to need to apply topically on your head. Uh, where's the oil at? And it is called my Hair Miracle Sprout Hair Treatment Oil. And I mean, it's got some amazing ingredients in it and it really, really cleanse and stimulate the hair follicles. I mean, and it pulls out all of this stuff. And I recommend that y'all get in that ocean and wash your hair with just salt water, original ocean salt water. That's salt. I'm doing a video on my Instagram tomorrow uh, talking about how important sodium and salt is. So make sure y'all tune in uh, tomorrow around 11 o'clock on my Instagram page because we're going to be talking about salt flushes. We're going to be really talking about salt and how amazing salt is. Not the actual isolated salt chemistry that they doing in the laboratories, but natural salt in its natural element. It's forty dollars for the hair treatment oil, and this stuff is amazing. It's amazing, amazing oil in here, y'all. Amazing oil, and this will help grow your hair back. So y'all know how to get to this stuff, y'all. And also go to the education tab and click on not uh, click on the list of resources because you got to change some things up. You can't be taking these regular showers. You're gonna have to get you some uh, filters. You have to change your bed coverings and get 100% cotton or silk. Long as it's 100%, it's time for you to start changing up your environment, y'all. And it just shows you everything. We got thermal cups, natural pads, juicers, full body therapy, water filters, everything on here that you need, y'all. So utilize the site. The site that we that's, that we coming up with now is even better than this, y'all. I mean, it's amazing. All right, so that's what you need. You're going to need the Geogenetic Therapeutic Package Level 2. Uh, make sure that you put inside of the line that you got alopecia and and you're going to need an all fruit diet. Don't even think about a vegetable vegetable. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about a watery vegetable at this point when you're dealing with alopecia, because that means that you are systemically backed up interstitially from the gut. That is a long way. If you take out all of your lymph vessels and you straighten them out, them deals are hundreds of miles long and you have that many miles of blockages in your body to reach to your brain. And that's the reason why I take a while to start draining that brain, to start really draining it. Cause I got to cleanse from the bottom up literally from the trunk all the way up to the leaves literally y'all if y'all got that so far uh type in some nines and i, I do want to turn on the phone lines for a minute uh for y'all can uh give me a ring and we can talk and y'all can ask questions or whatever y'all need to do so let me plug my phone up here He be looking like he gonna beat us up on the website. And hey, y'all know on only time I smile is when I'm live with y'all. Other than that, hey, I take pictures in, in my serious face. <laughs> so no cucumbers and melons. Yes, cucumbers and melons. Cucumbers is a, a fruit. Melons is a fruit. I said no vegetables, no watery vegetables. Cucumbers is not a vegetable, and melons, damn, so ain't no vegetable. Matter of fact, instead of turning the phone lines on, we can just ask some questions on here. So y'all can just type them in and I. I do it that way. 
I'm cleaning my hair real good tomorrow. Facts. Make sure you washing it real good with some free chemical shampoo. Free uh camp chemical free shampoo on the website. Go to the website, look at our hygiene section. We got all types of body and hygiene. Just go click on hygiene under our herbal store. We got all of that there. All right. Awesome info. All praises. All praises. Uh, I ain't gonna do the phone lines today. I'll do that tomorrow sometimes. Well, no, I ain't going live tomorrow. I'll do that on uh, Tuesday. Why is it hard to swallow sometimes? Uh, that's the autonomic nervous system. It could be that you're missing magnesium. You're probably missing the vital mineral magnesium. Uh, that's what helps you swallow. And uh, you have to realize that your esophagus is, is, is a contractor by way of the neurological functioning and what we're going to call the nervous system. So sometimes swallowing problems has something neurologically to do with it. So you need to get your adrenals online because that's what's in control of you swallowing your adrenal glands. You get your adrenals online, get the brain. I mean get the kidney and adrenal kit off the website And until you swallow properly Just make sure that you drink You're drinking juices or very liquefying foods And stuff like that Don't be eating anything hard uh, D-Asia Don't be eating anything hard Or too too hard to chew on Talk about tintinitis Shalom shalom alakum God How you feeling how you feeling My Nazarite brother I got too many videos on tintinitis brother So I don't, don't want to waste time talking about that All you got to do is a uh, Type in tintinitis on my YouTube. It'll pop up, bro. Or hit me up. You know, I know I got you. Yaki, can I just juice the fruit instead of eating them whole? Uh, Nori Harrison, that's what I actually recommend. If you go to my geogenetic therapeutic package, we actually recommend that you juice the whole time. But a lot of people just not, you know, neurologically and mentally and spiritually strong enough to do that. So we say, look, you can just eat your juice. So, yes, you most definitely can. It's simply V. I'm not giving out the number today. We can do that Tuesday. How long do you take the three bitters? You take the three bitters until they gone. Take them every day until they gone. Every day until they gone. When are the classes going up? I'm still Shredder 03. I'm still recording them, man. I'm writing a book, recording classes. I'm on tour right now. I'm doing a lot of stuff at once. And it's only and we moving into our warehouse. So it's a whole lot of stuff going on at one time, brother. So I'm getting around to them. I'm trying to get them done. Yes, on the toilet like crazy. DB, that's what I'm talking about, man. Get rid of that waste. Be light out here. Move light out here. You feel me? <laughs> it says, can you take the three bitters while pregnant? Bitter one, but no bitter two and bitter three. Bitter one, but no bitter two and bitter three. No, you can't. Can you take the three bitters on an empty stomach? I recommend that you take the three bitters on an empty stomach. Uh, some people can't. The three bitters have you projectile and vomit in this. Like they very, very powerful, astringent, uh, uh, toxic roots, you know. So they, they're going to they're gonna get in your stomach and they're going to cleanse. They are, they're Not only is they cellular proliferators, but they are astringent as herbs. So they're going to pull and tug at everything. I think it's better if you do it on an empty stomach, but some people can't handle it and they don't like that throwing up feeling. So if you got a weak stomach and you throw up easily, don't do them on an empty stomach. But I recommend you do them on an empty stomach, though. It says, I have a friend, well, Lorna, Lorna Jackson. I have a friend that's allergic to citric fruit since he was a child. What could I recommend to him? Uh, he's going to have the number antigens. Antigens built up in the blood. He's very acidic. If he's allergic to fruit, that means he must got his lymphatic system from his mother and the lymphatic system was backed up. You have to cleanse the lymphatic system up. Once we cleanse the lymphatic system up, you don't be allergic to anything. If the body is responding to you eating fruits, that means the fruits is highly, highly astringent and it's causing reactions. And them reactions you seeing is the skin trying to get rid of poop, period. Uh, is the herb safe for a one year old to cleanse the lymphatic system? Yes, my herbs are safe for any age, any age. All of my herbs go by weight, not age. It goes by weight. If a child can't take it, then you ain't supposed to take it. If a child cannot take it, you ain't supposed to take it. Just think about that. If I, if you won't give your one year old a blunt to smoke, you ain't supposed to be smoking no blunt. Straight up. <laughs> if the child cannot digest it and ingest it and consume it. You ain't because you and the child is made of the same exact cells. Who we let's talk about it. All right. Will this work for traction? Apicia? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Whether we talk about scarring Opicia, whether we talking about just balding Opicia, whether we talking about uh, Opicia Oriota total where the every hair off your body. I'm talking about all the, oh, period. This what I'm, I just gave you the keys to every disease, period. Every so-called disease, since I don't really believe in that word. I just gave you a system to cleanse anything you got going on. Does it matter the type of Opicia? No, no, it don't. To me, it don't. 
No, it don't. And if you have to, you have to go through the same system. Uh, uh, I think your name's San. I think I said that right. Forgive me if I said it wrong. And Shamika, it don't matter the type. <clears throat> you got to go through the same system. Now, will it? Some may take longer than others, depending on the type of alopecia you have going on. But no, it's going to be the same road to to wellness. It says, what if someone doesn't have their tonsils or appendix? That's now look, I'm good question, Nicole Nori. Good question. If you don't have your tonsils or your appendix, this is where the three bitters come in at. This is where lymphatic neural massages come in at. This is where sweating and going to saunas, steaming saunas come in at. This is where trampolining come in at. And this is where really cleansing that gut come in at. So if you ain't got your tonsils, we got to drain somewhere else. You know, and the body is going to drain by itself, period, unless it's something obstructing it and being blocked up. So cleanse out that transverse colon and we're going to be cleansing your eyes, cleansing your ears, it cleansing the top of your hair because these are pores. These follicles and these pores will open up and get rid of stuff. What you think dendra is? Dendra is fungus being relieved through your cranial. So that's all dendra is fungus and mold coming out of your scalp because it can't stay in the body too much longer because you going to die. So the body pushes it out through the skull. Same thing as rashes and patches and ringworms. This is nothing but fungus and mold coming through the skin. So so even if you miss an lymph node, the body is so smart. Now, now, don't get it twisted. It do make it harder to, to, to cleanse and to heal you. But the body going to push that shit out. Some fontanelle, an alternative route of elimination. Facts. It says, is this process the same for a fatty liver disease? Uh, yes, the process is the same, but we're going to be using different, a different methodology of the geogenetics. You see what I'm saying? We're going to be using a different depth, just a different methodology. We're going to be giving you different herbs. Same system, though. We're still going out to the lymphatic system. We're still cleansing up the blood. We're still cleansing up the nervous system. We're still getting the acids side of chemistry out. But whenever you're dealing with the fatty sides, you're dealing with cholesterol, cholesterol, cholesterol. But remember, cholesterol is lipid based lipid is the lymphatic system in the mucosa membrane so you're producing too much mucus it's all about fats and then you st you got a sugar problem too and an alcohol problem with fermentation it's fermentation stores the the the, the uh, sugars up and the alcohol up into something called glycogen glycogen then sits and just corrodes and glucose chew through the liver especially the uh the 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 uh, the, the top ending of that liver and then it start building up these fatty deposits on it. So, I mean, same system though. I'm going through opening up the lymphatic system, getting rid of all of that backed up lymphatic fluid, cleansing out the interstitial fluid of the cells, getting the adrenals online neurologically. That way we can plug them kidneys in and get them kidneys pumping and filtrating. Now I'm moving lymph and once you will see the fat is start losing because once you start getting rid of lymph fluid, which is you supposed to get rid of it through your pee and urine, you're peeing out fatty deposits. Fatty, that's what you, we just read it, that the Lymph fluid is what deals with the cholesterol base side of chemistry or the fatty acid or the fatty side of chemistry. That's what deals with the fatty cells, period. Y'all asking good questions. Y'all asking questions. Good question. How can I go join the team? We building it right now. We building it right now. Just hit us up in the email. Are you scheduled to speak in Michigan? Yes, I am, but we just don't know the date, but I am going to Detroit. Uh, What else we got going on here? It says, what time? Look, we finna get up out of here, y'all. What about growing a beard? Uh, whenever you're trying to grow a beard, sometimes that is genetically, family. Everybody cannot grow a beard. So if you just doing all you can and you can't grow a beard, sometimes you just genetically, when you look inside of that nucleolus, you know what I'm saying, and get inside that nucleus and check that DNA, open up them histones, a beard just not in your equation of life at this time. Maybe in your other life when you come back, you would be of a, a different genetical ancestral line and you can grow one. But some people just don't have the genetics to grow beards. And then the people that do and it's not growing beard, make sure that you're brushing your beard to stimulate hair growth. Make sure that you get enough oxygen get on the website get my uh, hair miracle sprout oil uh use that for bare oil not only that make sure you get my uh circulatory tincture high to get a lot of oxygen going to your facial hair area because the oxygen is what's going to grow make sure that your lymphatic system is clean make sure that your your nervous system is cleaned out you see what i'm saying and, and that's what's going to stimulate the hair grow to get that beard growing and keep the beard hydrated for you won't be breaking off you know uh, the follicles and messing up the buds Ooh, we. 
<laughs> y'all like when I say that, huh? All right, look, I'm finna get up out of here, y'all. I will be live tomorrow on my Instagram. Follow me on my Instagram at Yaki Awakened. Uh, let me show y'all what it look like because these people be out here straight pretending to be me. All I got is one Instagram, y'all. One Instagram page. If they calling you, asking you, if they hitting you up, talking about they do readings, that's not me. I do not do astrological readings on my Instagram page. This is my Instagram page, and this is how you spell the name correctly. That's me. Y'all see that? Y-A-H-K-I. Oh, it's 1111, player. Look at that. Look how spiritual that is, y'all. 1111 on the dot. Look, Y-A-H-K-I-A-W-A-K-E-N-E-D. It's 101,000 followers, and I'm only following four people. If, if, you, if they hitting you up and it ain't from this page, it ain't me. It is not me at all. And I don't inbox, and I don't respond to inboxes like that. Every now and then I get on there and respond. If I, if I see something that's just like crazy that I need to respond to and tend to and if I see it. But we get tens of thousands of inboxes a day, y'all. Serious. I'm not even I'm not even exaggerating. So, yeah, make sure y'all follow me. Follow me on my Facebook. Also, y'all, make sure y'all like this stuff, y'all. We got a thousand people in the building and somebody just said it's only 200 likes on YouTube. Come on, man. If you get my likes up, it stay inside the algorithm more. Like, 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 share, 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 share this stuff as much as you can. This is good information. It's talking about longevity and eternal living, y'all. Talking about healing your mind, body, spirit, and soul. Nothing is negative is being taught. I'm not teaching separation or none of that. So share this. Even if it, if, even if it ain't for you, share it for a family member. This stuff should be shared. Y'all sharing twerk videos and, and, and Negroes killing Negroes and all types of other shit. Please share this positive, which is really negative because negative is the good side of chemistry information to the people y'all like share comment subscribe keep me in the algorithm all right all right look with that being said i'm gonna get up out of here make sure y'all get these tickets y'all i want to see y'all in san diego uh once we get done with san diego and having a meet and greet there and uh having a seminar there we'll be bringing out the next location y'all I'm, I'm not gonna reveal the locations uh uh too fast too fast i'm not here to talk about pastor cal not here to talk about him at all. He don't exist in my eyes. All right. I love y'all. I love y'all. Make sure y'all hit the event bright. You need any herbs. Get at me. Follow me on Yaki Hickman on Facebook. Yaki Awaken on Instagram. And Yaki Awaken. Subscribe to my YouTube. All right. With that being said, peace, love, light, and healing. Peace to the gods. Peace to the earth. Peace. I wish y'all nothing but balance, y'all. My up. Oh, I'm glad you just got on here, Nabi. Nabi, Mikael, we set up a, a meeting too for everybody that was uh at the seminar in Atlanta. We set up an actual Zoom call meeting for we can uh you know keep y'all updated with what we've been doing and all the work and progression that we've been doing. So I'll be talking to y'all on Saturday. Make sure y'all hit up uh Nabi. Make sure y'all hit up Nabi to get on the call if you was at attendance. If you was at attendance there. All right, peace, guys and goddesses. Peace, peace.